The schools say that the CBS 46 Bulldog is not welcome at district headquarters. He was seeking answers after two teachers were arrested in separate incidents of alleged violence or cruelty towards students. Even though the building is open to the public, Chief Investigator Jonathan Carlson was told to leave and he's not about to stop working to get answers for you. Guys, good evening. This was an intimidating and unfortunate display of obstructing a journalist from doing his job. And in the end, the parents of the Cobb County School District, who didn't get access to information, are the real victims. Police department headquarters is across the street. In, 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 in the, in the, I'm sorry, sir? I said you need to lead like he asked you. Okay. At least one officer with the Cobb County School District Police Department getting heated within minutes of us showing up to district headquarters to simply do our job. Question taxpayer paid district employees about recent newsworthy events impacting the safety of students. We made multiple calls and emails to multiple staffers before heading inside the public entrance at headquarters. After identifying ourselves at the reception desk, within minutes, officers began to arrive. Well, Jonathan, CBS 46, how are you? Good breath. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're Hold just hoping to talk to uh, Nan Keel, Julian Coco, or John Floresta. Do you have an appointment? No, we've emailed and called, and they're not returning our emails or calls. Sorry, the, they're not present right now. Okay, so we can wait for them. It is private property. Okay. Okay, and unless you have an appointment. Just to be clear, we've been here less than a minute, and okay. you're already asking us to leave. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you the chief? Or? No, I'm Officer Bradford okay. with the school district place. Is there a supervisor here that we can talk to? Police department headquarters is across the street. In, 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 in the, in the, I'm in sorry, the, sir. I said you need to lead, like he asked you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So three officers need us to leave after less than a no. minute. Well, when you're not complying with our request, sir, to leave because you don't have an appointment, then you know we were unsure exactly what was going on, so we just okay. Have, we, we have to the back, so. Okay. Thank you for your time. Well, as officers guarded the door and clearly decided who they wanted to let in, we called our attorneys. As I explained to you, if you don't have an appointment, then you have really no, uh, shall I say, purpose to, to or, or exchange of information here, so we're asking that you leave. Journalists are entitled to the same right of access as the general That's public. true. So if the we're asking you to leave right now, okay? Does every parent have an appointment before they walk in this building? Officers didn't have a clear answer for that. We complied and went across the street. But more bothersome, we never did get answers from the accountability or communication staffers paid by the taxpayer to give public information, including and starting with Superintendent Chris Ragsdale, Chief Strategy and Accountability Officer John Floresta, Director of Content and Marketing Julian Cosa, and Press Relations Coordinator Nan Keel. In September, another CBS 46 reporter did a story on a district matter in which the district took issue with our reporting. Today they sent us a written statement saying in part, as stated previously, due to specific and repeated concerns with accuracy in reporting, the Cobb County School District will not participate in CBS 46's stories. Our attorneys have contacted Cobb County Schools and in a statement they say in part, the First Amendment guarantees media access to public places just like anyone else. If a government building like a school district office is open to the public, it's open to the media. The government can't make one set of rules for the public and a different set of rules for the media or pick and choose which media are allowed access and which aren't. I have yet to see a legal response from the school district's attorney. We won't stop pressing for answers. I'm Jonathan Carlson, the CBS 46 Bulldog.